Hello, my name's Jody, and I'm speaking very softly because I'm doing a video about ASMR and some statistics about that. If you're new to ASMR, it is autonomous sensory meridian response. And that means that um, people who have ASMR, if they hear or see or feel certain things, they have a tingling sensation, they relax, and they feel great joy. It's a wonderful thing to have, and if you have it, then you're very lucky. Um, there isn't a lot of research done about ASMR, so I'm here to try and help out a little bit with that. I know I'm not a scientist, but I am wearing a tie, and maybe that makes me an official person or something. I don't know. But what I do know is I have some, some statistics here, and I'll try not to get too excited about it. And as usual, I start off without my glasses on because I am not a partner and I don't get to pick my own thumbnail. And I don't want my glasses on in my thumbnail. And someday I'm getting laser surgery, maybe this spring. So here's some stuff about this. Let's have a look here. Okay. Oh, first of all, I welcome... Oh, keep the voice down. This is too quiet. Turn up. Okay. First of all, I've welcomed you to my video. Now, if you are either just at YouTube, or you're at my channel, or you're at my blog, if you're at my channel, please subscribe first, because I might be taking you on a little tour if you want to come with me. If not, you can just sit there and watch. It's all, it's all good. Okay, so there, there we go. We said about that. Okay, um, I have 160 videos. Um, there might be one of them you like, so you might want to subscribe for that reason, and there's more coming. Um, now, if you want to go to my channel, you just click on, on Jody down here, Jody Whiteley, that's my name. Um, and uh, then you can, you can take a look at my channel now. I've organized my videos into playlists, and my most popular ones are up there. That is ASMR, the sleep hypnosis, hypnotic bedtime stories, um, emotional healing, mental health, um, and magic or manifesting, some people call it, where you adjust your, your brain stuff to get yourself what you want out of the world. Um, they're, they're my, my most popular ones, and there's there's about a dozen categories, but they're, they're what people like the most. And there's all kinds of stuff about that. Um, now, if, you're, um, if you'd like to be at my blog, because I wrote all these statistics down and you can read along, um, there's a link in the description there, and this is, I don't know, maybe it's a trigger. Um, but yeah, there's a link in the description there, and you'd be able to be at my blog and read along, so that could be fun too. Now, at my blog, if you press the link in you there, um, there's going to be a bunch of statistics. I'm going to read them. And um, there's also, at the end, there's there's um, a link to buy water marbles. Um, there's something funny about that, but I'm going to save the joke till the end, but I don't know. I thought it was funny, and I, I had viewers tell me I'm funny, so maybe. maybe. Uh, but uh, as far as these... There's a reason I'm doing this. <laughs> now, as far as these statistics go, um, please, I didn't interpret them. I didn't give any... Per uh, saying this means this, or th that means that, or the other thing. I'm just going to tell you the statistics, and you can draw your own conclusions. One of the things I noticed, though, however, is this is very unscientific. Like, for example, if eight people said they're having problems with depression and anxiety, maybe if you had um, 160 people comment just from the general population, you would get eight people saying um, that they had depression.
depression and anxiety, and I got the statistics from the comments, so it might not be saying, oh, well, ASMR is linked to depression and anxiety, when maybe, possibly not more, but you see, we don't have the, the we don't have the control group, so it's not very scientific, but it could be interesting. I think it's interesting. These are your comments, and I turned them into statistics. And if you'd like to comment on the statistics, great, or just comment in general. Um, yeah, I pay very close attention to this, and I don't reply to everyone, even though I read and appreciate everyone, because um, when people are reading the comments, I don't want every other comment to be all about me. So, you know, so this, this is more of a sharing for everyone. It's not really about, about me. It's about Okay, so, here we go. Let's have a look. What have we got here? For, I have a disclaimer. Um, if you're reading, click the link to the blog, you can see the disclaimer. Um, it says, this is not a, ri this, this, this is not a rigorous research project carried out by qualified professionals. Do you think? Um, the info I've given you here, it's just for entertainment purposes only. So here we go. Four ASMR videos, 14,608 views. By the way, this is off because I was taking comments down right up to the last second before I sat in front of the camera. So, so but I didn't count the views. So that's a few hours old. But anyway, 14,608 views, 160 comments, my own comments not included. I did not want to sway the statistics by putting my own slant on things. Like I said, I don't want to make it about me. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, my own stuff isn't in there. Uh, first, first statistic, onset. The first time you uh, people experienced ASMR, 16 people said before school age, um, as far back as they can remember, or, or like three years old. Four people mid-range during school age, um, six, eight, ten years old, that sort of thing. Um, and then um, two as adults. Uh, myself, I would be one of them, but I didn't put myself in. Seven people aren't sure if they have ASMR or not. Discovery, when did you first hear about ASMR? Um, th uh, three said uh, over a year ago. Um, like, first heard about it and knew it had a name, like that sort of thing. Discovered they had something called ASMR. So three, over a year ago, ten less than one year, and 10 said this video, um, the video they were commenting on, that was the first they'd heard it. So a lot of people are hearing about it. This video might be your first time hearing about it. Prevalence. Um, how common is this? Uh, five people said until they got to the video, they honestly thought no one in the world had it but them. Um, two people said uh, they know other people have it, but they think it's very rare. Some just simply said some have it and some don't. Uh, four said uh, most people have it. Ten people said they think everybody has ASMR. And one person just doesn't know. And that's okay too. Attitudes, how do you feel about your ASMR? Well, nine people said they thought it was very cool to have it. Uh, ten said, it's amazing, I love it. Eight people said they thought it made them kind of weird. Um, Eleven thought it was very interesting to have ASMR. Um, and one person said, don't try to understand it, just enjoy it. And that's nice too. Linked traits. Like, what other things about you besides your ASMR kind of make you how you are? Um, hmm. Eleven people said they were unusually creative. Sixteen people said they had synesthesia. 
Synesthesia, by the way, is a cross-wiring in your brain between the senses, which I guessed might be linked to ASMR, and it's where um, you see numbers are always colors. Uh, some people see days as the week of the week is almost as always colors, like it has to be. Um, even some people have names are always colors. Uh, some people see music as color. Um, so it's sort of, that's the visual cortex in their brain has extra wiring between that sense and another one. And my guess was maybe your sense of hearing or um, this part of your brain that watches methodical tasks or certain parts was cross-wired with um, the part of your brain that feels joy and and physical sensation, like there could be a cross-wiring there. Um, so yes, yeah, 16 people said they had synesthesia too. Uh, four said they definitely have no synesthesia, that that wasn't it. Five people said they have misphonia. That's like the anti-ASMR. Misphonia is like, when you hear certain noises, like scraping sounds or chewing sounds, you um, you go into a rage. And they say it's like an electric current of rage going through them and they just cannot tolerate it. So it's like the opposite of ASMR. Uh, five people had that. Four people are reporting directional difficulties, um, finding their way around. They get lost easy. Four people said they have le left-right confusion. Uh, two said they have worse than average memory, because I said possibly it's linked to photographic memory. So two said, no, we have worse than average memory. One person said they have a photographic memory. Two said they are exceptionally good at math. I said you might stink at math. That was my guess. Two said they were good at math. Three say they totally stink at math. Uh, one said she suffers from migraine headaches and was wondering if that was linked. Um, so if anybody knows about that. Um, cause. Um, what causes you to, to be a person with ASMR? One person said it was linked to um, infancy. Um, soft touch, soft speaking, whispering like you would to a baby, maybe a rattle. You know, um, he thought maybe that's how, how, where it's genesis, the genesis of your ASMR is. Three said it's created by your state of mind, and one said it's hereditary, and another person said it is not hereditary. Um, social, so, social and emotional problems, or social and emotional issues, are they linked? Seven people said they had difficulty relating to others. I'm going to scratch my shoulder now, just a minute. Seven people said they had difficulty relating to other people, especially around their ASMR, um, or they have a hard time relating how they think and how they see the world. Um, they have a hard time with seven people said that. Um, eight people said they suffer from depression and anxiety. Two people said that they've seen depression and anxiety disorders in other people who have ASMR. Um, three. Um, three people reported social sanctions around ASMR, like if they talked about it, people would give them a dirty look or say something insulting to them, um, basically give them the message that it's not okay to be like that. It's not very nice, is it? Um, some people would just... Anyway. Um, two people... Two people were very distressed and confused about the whole thing, like what's... You know, why, why do I have this? And I, you know, what's going on? What's happening to me? And they were very distressed and confused about their ASMR. Um, triggers. Uh, yeah, triggers. Everybody's favorite. Okay, just like, let me do, can I do this again? Hello. Are you hearing that over there? I don't know they are. Triggers. I'll read them fast because there's a lot of them. Some of them aren't on the blog because I was picking them up just before I came in the bedroom. Triggers. Six teachers 
one unboxing videos, two whispers, one painting, one mother inspecting work, 12 soft voices, two textures, two bubble wraps, one person doesn't need it to pop, you just messing with it's fine, six hair, two sound of scissors. Now there's a bit of a blend there because you know it's haircuts. I should have put haircuts in as a separate one because um, the sound of scissors is one of them is haircuts anyway. Uh, six sound of paper, six sound of paper, a lot of sound of paper, one Bob Ross painting, um, watching him paint, uh, five the sound of typing, one the sound of a video game controller, two fingernail scratching on things, the one busy tone on the phone, eleven the sound of writing, two massage videos, two show and tell, four watching people draw, nine soft touch, seven of those nine soft touches were the back of the neck, and the other ones just said soft touch in general, six watching people do methodical rep repetitive um, tasks with their hands, um, one of those people said especially if they, um, if they have nervous hands, I have essential tremor, so maybe I was worried about that in my um, video, so maybe it's not a drawback after all. Maybe. One, smells. That's something else I'd like to... Uh, taste isn't on there. Uh, has anybody had an ASMR reaction to certain tastes, textures in the mouth, or flavors? But yes, yeah, smells. One person for smells. Two for instructional videos. Uh, one, a box of crayons at school. Three, sound of high heels. Six, accented speech. Six, pool balls, snooker balls knocking together. Two, girl next doors. <laughs> Where they, the girl next door would trigger their, their ASMR. Uh, one, at scratchy sounds. Two, having forms filled out about them. One, soft-spoken eye exam. We've all seen that video. Or, oh, well, not all of us, but the people who've had ASML for a while and are familiar with it have seen the soft-spoken eye exam. One person in school, when he was a child, watching, um, watching, they had a big clock and the children would have to set the hands on the clock. I had one of those in kindergarten. I remember that. And the teacher would say at the time, and you'd have to go up and, and set the hands of the clock to a certain time. I remember, you, what a blast from the past. Um, yeah, that used to trigger his ASMR. I'm just going to move a bit for a minute. My feet are going to sleep here. Let's see if that's better. Yeah. All right, where am I here? Where was I? I was at the clock, wasn't I? One, music. Three, my instructional ASMR informational videos. My videos. Okay. One, extreme close-ups with the camera. Um, and he said when I waved the feather in front of the camera in one of my other, my last video, I did that. He said, uh, yeah, anything that's like really close-up to the camera. Uh, one, watching makeovers. Um, one, vacuum and and or blow dryer. Uh, this one's real recent, just before I came in. Um, S's and whispers. S sounding whispers. Um, back scratching. Um, fingernails on the back. Uh, the sound of plastic crinkling. Okay. Other effects. What, what other effects do you get? Um, from uh, your ASMR, besides the tingling, euphoria, relaxation. Uh, four people said it made them very sleepy or drowsy or put them to sleep. Um, I didn't write down the number, how many for stress relief. I think it was four. Four people, I think, um, said that they used ASMR for stress relief. One person said they use it for headache relief. 
Uh, one person said it was kind of a good idea to use it to enhance your sexual pleasures. And four people said this is not sexual. How much ASMR do you have? Um, like how often and how intense is your experience? Two said they only get it occasionally. One said they get it very often. Oh, I'm going to stop here for a minute. Anybody who private messaged me, you're not in the statistics. It's just what was on the, um, on the page for comments for the videos because the private messages have either been deleted or are in such a back backlog of messages from about other videos, people commenting on stories or, or on mental health or on other issues that it was just too hard to find them, so I just used the comments on the four videos. Anyway, um, yeah, two said they get it occasionally, one said they get it often, four people said that it's very intense ASMR, one person said it's only mild, um, three people reported that their ASMR fades over time, um, it diminishes less often and less severe over time. Well, three people said that happened with them. Um, four people four people said that they get um, an extreme relaxation response to watching ASMR videos, but they don't get the tingles, um, the physical sensation that comes with that. Um, I, they're the ones who, who aren't sure if they have ASMR or not, maybe. Research, what do you think about that? Eight people said, yes, we need more research about this. Two people said, I'm going to go research into this some more myself. Four people said that it's important that we research into this so that we can learn more about the human brain. Um, and and I, I like that one. I'm trying not to be biased, though. Now, personal comp personal comments. I thought I'd put that in there too. Uh, one person said he would um, get back to me later and comment as soon as he woke up. Um, that was two and a half months ago. If anybody knows him, let's go check and see if he's okay. Uh, three people, three people like my lava lamps. I'm glad you do. I like them too. Um, one person has a channel called Whisper Deeply and, and is inviting people to go enjoy, enjoy that channel. Uh, 22, pe 22 people um, thanked me and or said something really nice about me. Oh, seriously, thank you. That's really nice. That is. That's another thing about this, you know. Uh, as far as the comments went, for that volume of comments, what a bunch of nice people you are. Um, I should have put that in the statistics saying, you know, 160 comments and, and uh, 159 really nice people. Uh, thank you. Um, anyway, no, don't me again. Okay. One person said there's an ASMR group on Facebook. Uh, I, I couldn't find it, but I did try to find it and, and was told that it shut down, that it isn't operational anymore. Kind of makes you wonder. It's been yanked off of Wikipedia. It's yanked off of Facebook. I am not a conspiracy theorist, but I'm just saying. Three people said I am not lame and that I am funny. But thanks, thanks for that. My leg's asleep. I'm talking about tingles. I'm gonna put it over there and see what it, it, it does. Okay, I'm not okay. And one person recommended Lita, L-I-T-A, Lita's massage videos. Another person, uh, one person, uh, recommended sound sculptures. ASMR videos, they like demonstration videos. Uh, one person really does not like Scientology and says that everybody should stay away from that. Two people liked my cat. Um, 
One person asked me to make um, a soft spoken sleep hypnosis video. I have done a couple of soft spoken sleep hypnosis videos. Um, I don't think they're that good. I think I'm okay speaking softly to you here, but when I try to do it as a, as a sleep hypnosis video, um, I don't think it's that good. Um, I did do my last whisper video. I was having a hard time knowing which, I have three sets of equipment, knowing which would work best. My last whis um, sleep hypnosis whispered bedtime story. I like it. The sound's nice, crisp and clear. Um, all the mouth sounds come out very nice. Um, that one I'm proud of. Um, and I think I might try soft spoken one more time with this microphone. And, you know, if it still sucks after that, I'm going to abandon soft spoken hypnosis videos and I'll just whisper. Because whispering is okay too. And it seems to sound better. And I'll be, I'll be making a bunch of them because people like them. So, anyway, uh, what else? Um, Okay, uh, oh, three people did not like my daughter Evan's voice. I know, um, she has a very loud voice, and I did explain to her that it's always bedtime at my channel, and that you're to speak softly, uh, but she's a teenager, so she's going to speak however she chooses, and she's not going to tell her anything anyway. She's a lovely child, lovely child, loud voice. Um, L-O-Z. I just got Canadian. L-O-Z, either way, you say tomato, I'll say tomato. L-O-Z-A-S-M-R. She does whisper videos and is inviting you to check out her channel. She did one that's a whispered ASMR video and she dedicated it to Jody Whiteley and myself. I thought that was very nice of her and I listened to it and she's a good whisperer. So yeah, you can check that out. Um, one person said, this is sad. One person said that I rubbed him the wrong way. And he said so six times at approximately 500 characters a time. Now, um, I understand, you know, everybody doesn't have to like me, but I did remove those comments because the videos that he put them on, um, people stopped commenting on those videos, and it seemed like a shame. They started up again, though. They started commenting on them again, because there's this really nice conversation going on, and then you, people don't want to sort through a whole page of one person complaining. Um, they, you know, they'd rather just read people's opinions and stuff, so that's why I removed them. I also removed two other comments um, total uh, because they were pornography and they were just about what somebody wanted to do to me. And I don't know, I'm, I just thought, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think we needed it, that's all. Uh, but all the other comments, even if they weren't completely positive or if they um, were offering criticism, I left them up. But yeah, they're the only ones I removed was the one from the whole person. Anyway, um, now about the water marbles. See at the bottom of the statistics there. This <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to try not to laugh. For some reason I find this really funny, and I'm going to try and keep a straight face for it. And here's what it is. Okay, if you'd like, um, if you've ever seen the video for Water Marbles for ASMR, if you haven't seen it, please watch it. I haven't done one myself because there's already plenty of Water Marbles videos out there and I think why, you know, why just bore people with something that's the same as everything else. Uh, when I was testing out the teenagers at my house and making them watch ASMR videos to see what their reaction was to it, a lot of them had like a misphonia reaction to the MSR, ASMR videos. They're like, ah, no, I hate that. Except for water marbles. The ASMR and the non-ASMR alike all love the water marbles. I said, where do we get those? 
So I, if you if you click there, you can order you can order water marbles. Why I'm having a hard time keeping a straight face about it is you see on the little link down there, the Amazon link for water marbles. You can buy them at best price, which is like five something, or you can pay eight something for the new. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't think this. Book. Maybe I'll have to edit this out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, I, I'm going to try and compose myself here. <laughs> I can't say it. It's too funny. <laughs> I don't know. I guess my eyes are going to start watering. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to meditate, okay? And, and, and maybe then I'll be able to say it. Okay, just, I'm going to take a meditation break. Now, I'm going to stay calm. And I, the question I have to ask is, are they going to ship you used water marbles? <laughs> okay, you can buy your new water marbles, or you can you can get them used. Um, the box guns, it's dripping water, they're all soggy, the kids already played with them. But hey, you can get them like two, three bucks cheaper used, or you can buy new water marbles. <laughs> so yeah, you can... I, I don't know what Amazon's thinking, but yeah, you can buy new or used water marbles. And as you can see, they're not all mixed up. They're in separate colors, so you don't have to sort them unless that triggers your ASMR. I don't know. Um, and then below that is a to donate button, because if anybody would like to make a donation to support what I'm doing, I would hate for them to really, really want to do that and not have the opportunity. But of course, I'm not pushing, I'm not begging, I'm not guilting. It's completely up to you. But if if you feel so inclined, um, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but the cat is wiping nose slime all over my hand. Yes, people like you, Yin Yang. I guess that's it. Let's have a look. Yeah, oh, oh, one more thing. Um, Celeste. Uh, Celeste is uh, 16. I think she's still 16. And she's been um, a friend of mine since I started on YouTube. And she sings. And she hasn't been trying to get a lot of views on her videos because they're all seized. Um, because they're all, um, we're in development, she's just learning and she wanted to get it right. But this last video she did, um, it's, her name's Celeste and her channel Celeste16, it's Etta James cover at last. Now I listened to her, wow this kid's got some talent, this is where she's putting it all together. She sings a cappella with harmonies um, and I did, if you want to look at my favorites, um, it's right there at the top. There's also some videos there that my children did. I have two teenage daughters, and uh, I think they're cute. And there's also um, some university lectures and other lectures uh, that I find about stuff that's just fascinating. Science, magic, religion, spirituality. Um, we've got some Tony Robbins for motivating. Uh, Wayne Dyer to help you manifest, you know, all the type of stuff that I'm doing here um, in uh, university lecture form. I'm currently re-listening to a series of lectures from Harvard, um, the Happiness Lectures, uh, Positive Psychology, and it's by Tal Ben Shahir, and they're excellent. Um, it's on there, but if you see it, it just says positive, and there's a bunch of Korean writing, I think, around it. But the lecture's in Eng English with Korean subtitles, and it just sources positive one. Um, I, 
if you are having problems with depression or anxiety, um, social adjustment, things like that, just anything um, to do with your happiness, this guy's lecture series, and it's, it's a lot of hours to listen to, but it's just chock full of wonderful stuff to improve the quality of your life, and hey, it's Harvard, so, you know, you can tell people you know stuff from Harvard, and maybe they'll think you're smart, but they're not hard to understand, like he speaks very plain everyday stuff. So, that's it for tonight. Good night, and God bless. If you don't believe in God, I'm going to bless you. If you don't like me, bless yourself. I don't care how it happens, just get blessed. And, I don't know if he's showing up or not, for people who maybe like to touch soft things, here is Ying Yang, who has been rubbing his nose slime on me. And yeah, you have a good night's sleep. If you get some insomnia, you know, it's, it's okay to listen to a sleep hypnosis video stories are good because if they don't put you to sleep, at least you get very, very relaxed and entertained. You're not bored, but the story's set up to be not boring, but to make you put you in a sleep state. So it's, you don't want to be too entertained, but you don't want to be too bored. That's all in the middle. Yeah. So good night. Have a pleasant tomorrow. Love you.